Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. For me, it is very important to have a VPN to protect my online privacy. Now, it'd be very, very creepy if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing that you did online. So why let your internet provider really do that to you online? The best thing to do is to get yourself a VPN and why not go with ExpressVPN, the best VPN available. Personally, I like it for the fact that you can unlock Netflix shows that you do not get in the US market. Now, one show that I've started to get myself into is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You search Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the US, doesn't come up, but you can switch your location to Canada and you can research Brooklyn Nine-Nine again and bam, it pops up right then and there and you can catch up on your episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Now, if you click the link in the description below, you will get three free months of ExpressVPN. Just by clicking the link below and you sign up today, you will get three months free of ExpressVPN. All you have to do is click the link down below and you will get ExpressVPN. Now, let's just get back to the video. A hell of a lot better than you left 2022. You get a number one wide receiver for that number one pick. You get more picks down the line. You trade, you finagle your way back. You pass on Jalen Carter, which I actually, you know what? This is the part where I kind of want to touch on well, why kind of the Bears pass on Jalen Carter? I actually want to get into this a little bit now because it's something that I did talk about during the first round stream. So I, I, I'm going to actually touch on this a little bit right now. <clears throat> now, when you talk about Jalen Carter and some of the things that he is able to do, Jalen Carter is, we all know, Jalen Carter was a top five talent. Jalen Carter was a top five talent. And Jalen Carter is one of those guys that he was very dominant when he had his time and when he was on the field in college. My thing has been with Jalen Carter and especially seeing him firsthand during this Ohio State versus Georgia National College Football Playoff semifinal is that Jalen Carter has some fatigue issues. It just seemed when he was on the field, you could tell his presence. You could tell when he was in there because he's a bit, he, he was dominant. You could tell his presence on the field was dominant. You could tell that his presence, that it, it was felt by the Ohio State offensive line and he was able to make some things happen and make some plays. But it just seemed like during the course of that game, he was off of the field more than he was on the field. And of course, you got a little bit of the, char the character things that, Kama came into question with the entire reckless driver situation that ended up killing a Georgia football player and a young lady as well. So rest in peace to those two individuals. So you had a little bit of character questions coming into the draft and it happening during the process of the NFL combine was also not a good look. Now we're still waiting to see how the, I, I'm not sure I'm off the top of my head how that's going to play out or how's it played out already. But I think that was a little bit of a reason why the Bears passed on him, even though a lot of pre projections had Jalen Carter coming to the Chicago Bears. A lot of projections had them. If he was to still be there at number nine, he would end up being a player that the Bears will ended up drafting, which instantly, intentionally did not happen. Even though he would have been a good fit in this interior of the Bears' defensive line, I also believe that another reason why they passed on him is because Philly threw them an offer to move back a spot. Philly wanted them bad enough to where they were able to get an extra fourth round pick and do more for Nagel than with that. So that it's a lot of different things that come into the real reason why Jada Carter was not picking by the Bears and the Bears passed on him. But the two main things was his character, so-called, or uh, sort of speak, and the fatigue issues that kind of play, I'm not going to say play them, but you can see those were kind of pointed out. Now, Big Mike the Gamer says, I agree. Chicago Bears work hard to get draft picks. They did. They did a lot of finagling. They did a couple of trades, which got them more picks and got them some of the players that they were able to get. So I actually agree that the Bears did a lot of moving, but they did a lot of hitting in this draft. So 
The passing of them on Jalen Carter is one of those things that I'm not surprised by. A lot of Bears fans I saw wanted him, and I, I'm, I wouldn't be mad at them for wanting him. I just had a feeling that they were probably going to pass on. I had a feeling that they were probably going to address the offensive line first because that's Ryan Poe's specialty is him being a former lineman throughout his football playing career. And I think a lot of the draft starts with your offensive line. You can easily get a, a rotational defensive line piece. Maybe not. They're not going to be as dominant a potential of a Jalen Carter. But I think you sure up your offensive line first to protect your number one priority. And that is number one, Justin Fields. So I believe there were so many factors into that. But like I said, it was the fatigue. Like I said, it was the team need when needing to protect Justin Fields. It was a little bit of the character questions. So it was a lot of factor that's what I personally believe went into the Bears not selecting Jalen Carter. It ended up going in with Darnell Wright out of Tennessee. But I think either pick would have been a very solid pick or a very good pick for this Bears team. But the need was to protect Justin Fields. He got a little bit banged up last year. The offensive line also didn't help with a lot of – they had a very good amount of injuries last year. So at the end of the day, Justin Fields was the number one priority was to protect him.